What is up guys and welcome back. Right, we have a mammoth guide here for you today covering every single horde and battle in the game. Now three of these are going to be story related and I do cover those as well. So quick reminders guys in the description you're going to have a timestamp to absolutely everything including some of the uh, amounts of freakers or swarmers within the hordes as I only started doing this later game as well as some of the later ones I attack at night. This just makes for better footage than trying to get them easily in their cave. So what I'm going to do quickly is show you what gear I use and and then we're going to get straight into it. Right, so gear-wise, I use the same uh, loadout for every single horde as I waited till the end of the game. Now, the rock chuck is automatically silent, and this is fucking so valuable. I've used it the majority of my entire playthrough. The RPD has a massive clip, massive penetration, and kills uh, freakers or swarmers with one bullet, which is massive. Then the next one is going to be the MP. And I use the, or the SMP at least, I use this because it's also fully automatic. So if I run out of the RPD, I can also switch to this. And then eventually the Superior Metal Axe, I've had pretty much through the entire game. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is show you a couple of story hordes, and then we're going to get into the grit of it. So let's get started. No, no, I've already learned the hard way. It's better to take them on alone. That right, so this is going to be the Iron Butte horde. This is the only horde in Iron Butte, and this is 100% story related. And unfortunately, this is one of my first hordes I took out. And is also one of the biggest ones. It's got, I think, over 400 of the swarmers. So the tactics I use here are kind of on the fly. But I did manage to get them out in the end, as you will see in a second. So immediately I thought I was fucked, but uh, I managed to get out of there. And I wasn't going to break myself too much. I was just having a bit of a practice run. Now these logs you can shoot as well. As you can see, I'm going for the explosive right there. The only time I ever used the uh, the focus until it depleted was with the hordes. And then you can use the cocktails to increase that as well. So pretty much this is your tactic for each horde. Is to lead them into areas where you can take them out like this. Anything they have to climb over stacks them up a little bit. As you can see here. Take out quite a few. So these uh, boxes you can see here. Or the barrels at least. You shoot those and the logs will fall as well. I probably should have gone to the left, but I wouldn't have been able to see the barrel. As you can see there, the logs will fall. And this is pretty much what it's going to be like with, with every horde. You kind of have a couple of traps, but uh, after a couple of seconds of fighting, they kind of depict what happens next. But hands down, the RPD is the best one that I've used. I will give some other weapons a try. I mean, I did try uh, some of them, but uh, the fact that it kills... Freakers and Swarmers with one bullet is a massive plus, obviously. And sometimes, when you spin and turn around to fire, there's actually a glitch or a bug in the game. It doesn't let you fire. And that happens a fair amount of times, as you will see, as we progress through this Mammoth Guide. So taking them around this way again. But, uh, like I was saying, this is one of the first hordes I did. I can't remember exactly what I was thinking. But probably going for that one right there. what I've done now is I've actually started a new game on the hardest setting and I just want to see how much more difficult it actually is because the hordes got fairly easy in the end I mean there's only a handful that are 400 strong the rest are pretty easy to take out so look out for that I might do some videos on the hardest hordes as well and that will be at a later stage but as you can see at the top the horde is a quarter left or so and now my stamina is gone so like I was saying, this is early game, well, the first horde I got to pretty much, and uh, my stamina wasn't maxed or far from it, so let's use a cocktail there, get back on track, and also vital skill is going to be uh, running while loading, but I, ha I am doing this with uh, maxed out skills, I waited right till the end like most people would do, with the exception of this video, or this horde, because I did this in the storyline, and this is not post game. Okay, that's going to hurt them. He came out of right field. See, like, right there. Turn around to fire, and it just doesn't let you fire. Maybe I'm pushing fire before it's finished aiming. That could be a reason. But uh, I do not know. It happens a lot. Okay, pipe bomb probably with the barrel. No, nope, I want to wait a bit further up. They get so sneaky when they get close. They just duck further and further down. Oh, 
And this is hands down the most fun in the game, absolutely. Very definitely worth saving up your skill points till the end and doing the hordes right at the end of the game when you're maxed out. And I got to the point where I was wishing you could reset them. Like, you know, you can reset the Far Cry, Far Cry, <laughs> the Far Cry outpost and stuff like that. But uh, there's no option for that. Maybe they'll add it at a later stage. So it would be awesome to be able to uh, reinvigorate the horde chase by actually making them spawn again. So the last couple take out like that. Now there's no horde killer on this because it is part of the storyline. Now this is the old sawmill. I've actually posted this already, but uh, in the essence of consistency, I've got to have them all right here. So this is the second horde, or this will probably be the... No, I think this might be the second or the first one you get to. I'm not actually sure, to be honest, which one gets activated. I think it is uh, this one, because the last one is... Well, I'm not going to do any spoilers. But this one, as you can see, fucking hundreds. There's 400 plus in this here. And at later stage, I uh, empty my bounties, and then I do the hoard, and then I go back and check how many there are. Which is why in the description I've got amounts of uh, swarmers in each horde. But I only start doing this at a later stage. As you will see, it's mainly with um, Highway 97 because there's 13 hordes in there. And fucking hell, there's some awesome ones. See now, my mistake I was using here was I was using my silent weapon when I was trying to shoot them. Because I wanted them to follow me, obviously. But uh, they're not going to follow unless you're making a noise. So that's my bad. But in a couple of seconds, as you can imagine... Shit starts going slightly tits up. Now sometimes I like to mark, well, several of them. Gives you an idea where they're running because that will show up much easier. As you can see, they show up without you going into focus. And you can see them through buildings then. But I think right now is the jig is up. And they come thick and fast. Let's use the attractor bomb, I think. And then some napalm to follow up. I'll be struggling to, to make napalm. I've got a video up of, uh, previous to this one. On locations of plenty of materials, crafties, that you can use to craft your napalm as well as your molotovs. And I feel the um, attraction bomb, attraction, attractor bomb is vital. As well as the, obviously the napalm. But uh, in the end I didn't end up using them a lot because it just it's too easy. Which is why I've started the game again on a harder setting. And we're going to see how things go tips up. So I didn't show it in the video but I planted a string of remote bombs along here. And if you plant like four of them in a row and you push the first one it will blow the first one up. Then you push it again it will blow up the next one. It doesn't blow them all up at the same time because that would be a bit pointless. At that point, I could have shot the, um, well not shot, activated the wood pile. Like, I'm going to run through here, you push square, and it cuts it. Blocking the path or making them stack up. That's probably a good position to put your uh, remote bomb, now that I think about it. The proximity bomb is not as good, because it just takes one of these guys to activate it. And it doesn't wait until there's like, loads of them around. So, which is why again, I'm trying this on the hardest setting now. Let's see what we can do. So the more obstacles you you jump over, the more bunched up they're going to get, as you can see here. Slows them down, gives you a slight breather if you need it. But always have an escape plan. Always know where you're going. I panicked a little bit here because I thought there was a hole in the fence. And there was, I just wasn't looking in the right place. Just around here. Okay, now they can only come through the left. So this was a fail throw. I should have seen it hitting the roof there. But it does not take them long to find me. Rock. See, so going down here, probably definitely should have planted some remote bombs. And then you just blow them up as you go. And the logs are going to take out a shitload more than the actual bomb will. Anything with those orange binding, as you can see on my right there, is explodable. It's like this over here, I could have run through that gap again, collapsing the wood. But I thought them jumping up would bunch up just as nicely. Going for the barrels. Horde almost done. 
I do have a question after this has finished. Sometimes it says the horde's complete and it has like a percentage. Now it's not the storyline percentage or progress. I have no idea what the percentage actually reflects. So the second it comes up, I'm going to ask if anyone knows what it is. Or if I'm just being a complete fucking moron. And I'd love to know. Because uh, it's kind of irritating. There's no like explanation of what it is. But uh, I will show you in a little bit. Obviously the, the percentage on the top right is how close I am to leveling up. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. Haha, <laughs> lucky. Yeah, this weapon owns. Probably didn't need to use any more explosives. Can get tedious searching them, but uh, funnily enough, this is the one area in my video where you can. I picked up 11 kerosenes, which is <laughs> more than enough to fill you up. I was trying to get to the barrel, I don't think I get there in the end because I get smacked out of the way now. So now I'm assuming on hard mode that would take off more than half of my health immediately, and I hope it does. It forces you to be more strategic, like using the log piles and stuff more effectively. Bring out the SP9, no. SMP, I think it is, yeah. Alright, we're almost there. Now, if you roll into them, it'll also stagger them. I think I'll skip ahead a bit now. That's the end of that story one. Okay, guys, from here on is going to be the proper hordes in Cascade. Starting with Cascade, at least. The first one is going to be the White King's Mine Horde. And that's going to be right in this area. And this is also part of the storyline. And this is one of the battles I don't show. It was way early game. And I didn't even know I wanted to record them. But there's only two or three uh, smaller hordes that I don't record. The rest of them are definitely battle shown. Right, the next one is going to be the Grotto Caves horde. And this is going to have about 80 swarmers. So very, fairly small, that is. And they kind of took me by surprise. It took me a long time to find these guys because it kept on glitching on me. I'll go to each of the locations and they wouldn't be there, um, which doesn't make any sense because they're definitely going to be at one of the three locations. And I could have sworn that was a remote bomb, but I blew myself up anyway. So here they come. And this is their watering hole down there. So there's going to be three locations they'll be in during the day. They're going to be in the cave, which makes it very easy to take them out. Then they're either going to be patrolling between the, the three locations, or they're going to be feeding, or they're going to be at the watering hole. These guys are coming back from the watering hole, which is normally where they go first. So I'm not sure what the time is now. But it's also nice to attack them during the day, so you can actually have this battle during the day once you draw them out of the caves. All the various hideouts that they'll be in. Oh, that was terrible there. I expect to get hit by him. Don't think we want to use napalm at this stage. Yeah, and I've lit myself on fire plenty of times. And also there's a skill where if you get headshots, you get health. But uh, if you're getting a bit cramped up with swarmers, um, one shot kill with the RPD. So a headshot doesn't make any difference unless you're desperate for health. And you can't just push left to heal yourself. So I think this is... Oh no, we've still got half of it left. A tractor for that one, no tractor bomb, no need for it. Not enough guys to merit a use of one of those. So it takes a couple more shots with this gun, but the rock chuck fucking love it. I've used this ever since I've unlocked it. It is an automatically silent weapon, you don't have to worry about the attached silencers. And it's very useful for defeating zombies or zombies or freakers or whatever the fuck they are um, outside of caves if you don't want to alert them. So a very, very cool weapon, but the damage is very, very low. But being on the easier setting, it, uh, it still kills them fairly quickly. But again, I'm assuming in hardcore mode or hard mode, <laughs> this is not going to be the case. So I really hope it's going to be incredibly challenging. Terrible shooting there, John. Peace. Coming down to the last of them.
That should be a one hit one to kill if it's at a, a reasonable durability. As you can see it staggers them if you roll into them. Now this kind of thing happens, sometimes you won't know where the last ones are. I'll just skip ahead, no, no need for you to watch me run around. There we go, got a Caves Horde. Now let's see if it has a percentage. See, no percentage there. So it happens on some and not others. As you can see the, the number of percentage there is going to be slightly out of sync with the video. But uh, like I was saying before, I couldn't fucking get those guys to spawn. There we go, 80 bounties. Yeah, this horde was a thorn in my side for most of the time. This is the Death Train Horde. This will be one of the first ones you tackle, the first bigger ones you tackle. As you can see there, there's three locations. The ones on the right are for a separate horde. So there's a watering hole, there's a feeding hole, and then there's a sleeping ground. This one in particular is, the middle is the sleeping ground. On my left is the watering hole. And up top is going to be the feeding. So again, not quite sure why I was using the silenced weapon when I want them to chase me down the river. They can't attack me on the, on the left flank. And for the start of this, I didn't have my, my proper melee weapon equipped. But I sort that out fairly quickly. Yeah, I got one swarmer with my remote bomb. This kind of thing I'm talking about. You have to be way more efficient with your strategies and luring them to locations like bottlenecks and to explosives and stuff like that. So I'm very excited to be doing, I'll be definitely doing videos on the hardest setting for each horde. But I might do those videos individually for this one took about a fucking week to create. But uh, I hope it gets used a lot because it has a lot of information in the description as well. Some of the biggest hordes and just general strategies for each one. And uh, where the locations of the feeder, the feeding grounds are, and the sleeping, and the watering hole. But eventually I changed my weapon. That was very, very close. So now I'm going to skip ahead until I find them. It doesn't make you like there. It just didn't fire when I wanted to. I must have double pressed R2 to get it to start firing. Okay, last one's going to be just on the other side there. Then we're going to head to the next one, which is the Horse Lake Horde. Sure. <laughs> I was trying to be cocky and get a good ending shot, but it wasn't even the last one. And the auto shotgun is unlocked. And the auto shotgun unlocks at 25%. And again in the description, I've got percentages of all the unlocks and what they unlock as well. And uh, the last one is going to be the John Horde Killer Custom Accent. Or Accent, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But it's the decor for the bike and it looks pretty fucking cool. Alright, still within Cascade. We are on the Horse Lake Horde. As you can see, the first bomb almost but destroyed them. Look at him, sneaky little puff at her. Alright, next up, O'Leary Mountain Horde. Is this one of the big ones? Let's have a look at my description here. Now, we've got Old Saw Mall, Mount Bailey, Lobert Drawbridge, all have 400 swarmers. So those are fucking awesome battles, those are... Now this one, as you can see, I've taken out the horde already, and uh, this was part of the gameplay I must have done unbeknownst at the beginning of the game-ish. But at least you know where it is, and that's why I'm showing it. There we go, Larry Mountain Horde, done and dusted. 30% horde killer, baby. Alright, next one up, Cascade Highway Horde. And I'm just going to correct my spelling on highway there, I've got a capital I. So as you can see, three clear round red danger zones. The sleeping, the eating, and the watering. Now, it's probably going to be during the day, as you can see, so they're going to be chilling in the cave. Now, this is an ideal place to get them to come out of the cave. And on the hard mode, you'll probably come here during the day, because they're going to funnel nice and lovely all the way down here. And definitely on the, the hard mode, I'm going to be recording uh, or taking note of how many swarmers there are, just by emptying your bounty. And uh, like I was saying before, and then going back to the bounty hunter, or the bounty receiver, if you will. And then they'll tell you, what you can see, how many ears you've picked up. Okay, so I've got my remote bomb right there. Let's wait for it to bunch up a bit. 
Now would be a good time. Yes, that's when I learned that you cannot move and explode those remote bombs. As you can see there, it didn't let me fire my weapon. It's probably a good thing because they would have taken me out. It's a perfect time for some focus here. There's a guy right there. Got him. Got up again. What did he do? Fall over? Because if he got shot by this, he's dead. Run away. There he is. Cascade Highway Horde done. Cascade. Should I say Cascade? I think I said Cascade. Next up, guys. Second last one in the Cascade area. This is Little Bear Lake Horde. This is going to be right over there on the map. As you can see, three very close circles together. And this one is going to be down in the canyon. This is behind the actual uh, Nero checkpoint. The Little Bear Lake. I wasn't sure, because the horde hasn't been activated up top yet, how many are going to be in this one. I haven't got written down on the early ones, like I was saying. Pretty much only Crater Lake and Highway 97. I give the amounts. Yes, switch to the noisy weapon, John. Toodles, toodles. The last one is going to be sitting on the island. No, there's a couple more. Oh, wait, I thought that half these fuckers to go. Why aren't they attacking me? Hello. I think also I'll definitely do the recording, uh, the voiceover while I'm playing the game. On the hard mode hordes. So my aim is going to be to get to the end of the game as quickly as possible on hard mode so I can attack these hordes all with the highest uh, abilities because that is going to be absolutely vital. But I'm fairly certain they're not going to make it easy to rush through the hard mode. Otherwise, what would be the point, really? Okay, one or two more guys here, and we're done. There, yeah, Little Bear Lake, Horde, done. It's 87%. 35% Horde Killer Unlock. SMP9 Mag. Thank you very much, I'll have that. Okay, the last one on Cascade is the Proxy Falls Horde. Have these guys caught me by surprise? You might have run into these guys a couple of times within the story. They're just off the highway there normally. Uh, not a good place to park my bike, but they did surprise me. Here they come. I'm trying to be careful because I didn't want to offload it to my bike, but uh, it doesn't cost that much to repair it at this stage of the game. As in scrap-wise. Don't know if we're going to be using napalm just yet. Next one will be wasted if you don't use it once you've used some sort of a tractor or a tractor or you've got them bunched up within their sleeping areas or feeding grounds. Now, a lot of the time I'll run back the way they came. This is so I don't run into a Reacher or a Breacher or a Rager. And you'll know what those are if you get later game. Just one Screamer you run into and you're dead because they kind of stagger you. Well, completely stagger you. And these guys will eat you alive. So I kind of go back and forwards um, to prevent that from happening. Alright, we're almost done with the Cascade region. I'm going to get into some of the bigger ones. Proxy Falls Horde, 99%. So the first location I'm showing you here is the one that I lost the footage of. But I'm going to show you exactly where you can find them anyway, obviously. So this is going to be the Pat James Lakes Horde, and he's going to be just northwest of the uh, hot springs, inside this cave right here during the day, and at night they're going to be scattered to my right, but they're going to be right in there. Apologies for forgetting that, it's an awesome one to use the water to slow them down as well. Okay, the next one, the Belknap Crater Horde, is going to be more of the eastern side of hot springs, and they're going to be scattered everywhere along here. And I like doing these ones during the day because they come funneling out of here nice and easy. But uh, like I mentioned before, some of the later ones are definitely going to be attacking at night. Because, uh, shit, they, uh, they are relentless. So these guys were not having it. They would not wake up. Ah, oh, there they are. Now these guys, you, you can only get so close to any horde that's hibernating, if you will. Because uh, no matter if you're creeping or whatever, they're going to wake up and they're going to take you straight away. So I thought I'd put a remote bomb right there. Maybe another one over here for exiting. And let's get the RPD ready. Probably to blow it up right now, John. Yes. And again, now would be good. 
Almost got me. Nice little back and left and right motion. And I forgot to take out my strong weapon again. Now I've got the skill that doubles the uh, damage of the knife, which is awesome because uh, you kind of only have to use the big one in an emergency. There you go, build up crater. That's 40% horde killer. Next up, we have the Lava Arch Horde. Now, I think this is quite a quite a big one. Uh, let me check my notes here. No, it's not on there. But again, I don't know, because uh, I wasn't counting them at the time. But these guys come funneling out of here as well. There's a fairly large horde. You can always tell after the first bomb. <laughs> Stupid cans. Anarchists. As you can see, there's someone right there. I was waiting for my... Uh, enhanced vision, if you will. There we go. That probably woke him up. I thought I'd take these guys out without any bombs, as in remote bombs. Get this cave over here. How thin it is. Just pan left and right, taking them down. That's crazy. The second I'd finished all of them, uh, but the 100% storyline for Horde Killer. I just wanted to do more. <laughs> I just wanted to do more. And that's when I wish that you could reset them. But uh, I think it's a better idea to move on to a more difficult setting. And to see how these guys fuck each other up or fuck us up on the hard mode. As you can see, this horde is pretty much done. I would say maybe 80, 80 in this. I couldn't even find online uh, where the amounts were. See, I was trying to be cocky and try and get a headshot for the last guy, and I missed it twice. <laughs> Lava Arch, 23%. Horde Killer, 43 and that is the storyline that we're going to be finishing with this. Next up, the Marion Forks Horde, guys. And remember, there's a description, and in that description, there's shortcuts to all of these bastards. Okay. Now, this is going to be Cougar territory, so be careful. Wasn't quite sure how far in they were, but this one it actually goes in a bit and then to the right. And then they're all going to be chilling right there. I think it's right and left actually. I got a fright. But yeah, this is. Check this out. I think they're sitting left and right hibernating, which is pretty cool. I like the fact that they weren't all together. So I was like, okay, I wasn't quite sure what was happening just yet. So I saw them there on the right. And then I think I saw them on the left as well. I'm not sure if this is the one. Or it's, it might be a later one. Now they scattered quite far and wide. That guy's going to wake up pretty quickly. And the fact there's a little uh, ledge there, that's very beneficial for us. It does slow them, slow them down. Probably should put another one over there. It would be cool if you could do like little barricades. <laughs> Funnel them exactly where you want them. Now these fuckers just were not working with me. There we go, now they're awake. I love that, no matter where you shoot them, they react accordingly. Here we go. I'm not sure if I detonated my bomb there or not. I, think I shot through that guy's legs a couple of times. Here we go. Just over half left, so there's still quite a few in there. And again, referring to the hard mode, this is probably what you're going to have to do. Get a couple of them to come out at a time. And as you can see, they kind of come out in waves. <laughs> I got two with that explosion. Uh, watching this video and how many times I've watched this footage and uh, edited the footage to make it as perfect as possible. I've learned a lot when it comes to these hordes. So if you're planning on doing it on hard mode and you're struggling, I'm definitely going to have some, some videos up to help with that. That's my, my preferred type of guide. It's just something that's so fucking difficult and just explaining how to get through it, if you're lucky enough. So this is inside, obviously. And uh, we're going to take out the last of this horde right here. Then we're going to move on to the Shadow Lakes. Okay guys, Shadow Lake Horde, here we go. It is a lake within the shadow of the mountain, I'll have to assume, but at night, it doesn't fucking matter. Now, there is a fuel can right there, so I thought, okay, well, let's utilize the environment. 
Now, if you're going to do something like this, don't throw it exactly at it, because they will crowd it so much you won't be able to shoot. Fuck all. As you can see, I've left myself clear line of sight. It looks fucking awesome in focus mode. And let's get some fire down there for the hell of it. That was a good one. It seemed like the attractor bomb, or attractor at least, lasted until even after the explosion, which is pretty cool. Half done. Did that guy take two shots? I don't know. Pick them off. And I do also wonder, again referring to hard mode, if uh, the hordes themselves are just going to be bigger. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to be bigger. Or if they're just going to be more difficult. I cannot wait to see. Second I'm done uh, commentating on this mammoth guide, I'm most definitely going to do that and get into that as quickly as possible. I do have a couple of days to do this before I get back to my other work. Alright, this is nearly done. After this, we are going to go to the, what is it, the Bear Creek Hot Springs Horde. One of my favorite names. There are some very, very strange names as well. Shadow Lake Horde done. 49% is it the same as my experience? Yes it is. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Figured it out. Okay, here we are in the far northwest of all the regions, pretty much. Bear Creek Hot Springs Horde on the way. Get some remotes up there. Now, if I put another remote bomb down, that's a massive fail. Because you'd need this one to go off first. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> maybe this is the one where they're multi-sided. That side and a bit to the right as well, maybe. No. Ah, the tunnel curves to the left over there. I thought let's go be sneaky and probably throw a Molotov in there. And use the funneling cave to take them out. Wakey, wakey. Get some hot stuff, baby, here tonight, although it's day. Yeah, I decided to come out of the cave. Guess I wanted to get to my bomb. See there, it wouldn't let me fire straight away. Bomb's on, go. Do it. Yay, I got three. Oh, shit, you see, again, it wouldn't let me fire. I think it must be because I'm trying to push fire before he's actually finished aiming. And what else could it be? Easy, fellas. Hold on back. I also want to give the auto shotgun a try because uh, on hard mode if they don't die as easily you can only assume they won't you have to try and utilize different weaponry because the RPD is monstrous I think it does have the biggest clip by far actually the weapon that you unlock doing this is the MG45 or 55 at least and uh, that only has 70 odd uh, clip but I'm going to mess around with that at some point there we go horde killer another unlock ready for you IDF pup Pretty cool weapon. Not necessarily for hordes though. Okay, next one. Twin Craters Horde, the last Belknap Horde. It's going to be right over here. And you can see the three grounds. Feeding, steeping, and watering. Now, taking them out at night is obviously way different. Because, uh, yeah, they're, they're more scattered, obviously. So if you ever get to a point where you can look down on them like this... It's very, very useful because you can throw your tractor bombs way further than you can throw your napalm. So I had to get a lot further, but that's going to be a devastating strike on them. And in the grasslands here, not ideal. Because they, they can hide. They duck down quite quickly. Where did that guy come from? As you can see, the horde is done. Twin, Twin Creators horde is done with that mammoth napalm hit. Alright guys, now we are going to Lost Lake. Welcome to Lost Lake. Now the first one here, I didn't show. I did this at some point. Um, I actually do show a little bit of footage, but only the ending of it. But you can find the horde right over here in the, what is it called? The Riverflow Farms horde. And it's going to be in this cave. Very, very easy to locate. I'm not sure if I did them all. Let's have a look at uh, when the bar at the top comes in. How many I've done. Come on, little guys. I think we do a tractor bomb first. Get in there. Oh, 
Here we go. <laughs> Toast. And this is the end of it. Still no bar at the top to indicate. Because it is a story mission horde, I think it is. River flow is done. No, it's not a story mode. It's not a story mission. Strange. Okay, next up, guys, we have Sherman's Camp Horde. You'll come here a fair amount on your travels. And these guys are going to be sitting right in the middle here. I like this area. Lots of exits for them. Not necessarily the way you're going. And uh, you can see the massive fail already. I've got my fucking bike parked right there. Moron. I think I do shoot it a couple of times. Sit, boy, sit. And again, there's no indication uh, at the top of how much of the horde is gone. wonder why that is. I think maybe I don't have the mission selected. Because if you come to an area, then those three areas that they could be in will show up. But maybe I just don't have it selected on the map. It must be the reason. Why would it show some and not others? I learn, which is why when I do the hard mode hordes, hard mode hordes, I'm going to do it as fucking perfect as possible after learning everything I did with these guys. Okay, we're going to be close. I wonder if this is the last one. No, nope, we're going to skip back inside and there's going to be someone chilling here. I remember this guy. <laughs> On his own. Toodles. Alright. Next one. This is the Metalui Lava Cave. I think that's how you pronounce it. And as I got gotcha, here, we had some uh, guys attacking each other. Or I'm not sure if they were attacking the, the Freakers, the Swarmers. But uh, they definitely woke up the Horde. So I thought, fuck it, let's jump in. See what happens. And it is cool, like I was saying before, to do it during the day. It's just a very different experience because you can see everything. Also, I needed a good thumbnail. Okay, so the second you damage one of them, it comes up the top there. So I must have the mission selected again. Fail on bike location. Holy shit, that's a lot actually. This might be a biggie. So what is this one? This is the... Lava Lakes, let's see. Hmm. I've only got a couple that are over 400. Sawmill, Mount Bailey, Norbert, George Bridge, and the Cascaded Rail Line. But this looks like a lot. Although, if this is all of them, then I would say it's about 80 or maybe 100, to say. Then we go 80 or 100 or 150, and then from there goes 180, 160, and it jumps up from there to like 400. So like I was saying, I didn't see a lot of them. Most of them I haven't, I didn't count. This will be rectified on the next playthrough. It's actually awesome during the daytime to do it because you get to see the actions. It's, I love it. It's so fucking well done. And the frame rate keeps up. Everything's awesome. Except for the couple of bugs at the start. But you know, shit happens. Okay, so we've got four or half of it done. No, I didn't want to go too much further down the road, so I think I hang a left or a right here somewhere. Because I, I did it a lot. Obviously, I saved before each one. But uh, you run into a breacher or rager or worse, the screamers, then uh, you're fucked. You can't do deck to move or anything when she's got you in the screech. Come on, get in there. Whoopsie. a good time to use focus. I think I tried to use focus there, but again, I pushed it too soon. And it actually used the, uh, the focus and not the focus on the weapon. The vision. Okay, that's half of them done. Let's have a look here. Yep, that's a good time to do it. At this point, I think I was kind of going for headshots. But uh, soon realized they weren't dying quick enough. Okay, just less than a quarter left. That's gonna hurt him. Yep. You've got to just run further, because you can run faster than them, or you can sprint faster than them. As you can see, you get enough distance to turn around and start it off. If you don't have enough or any focus, then they're gonna hit you. <laughs> you take one of those guys out with the battle axe, if you will. 
Here we go. Ah, oh, it wouldn't let me fire. But it's okay. The lava cave is done. 100%. Okay, horde killer, 58%. Alright, up next we have the Burley Lake Horde. This is going to be south of the Lost Lake region, as you can see. Pretty cool area as well, because you get some of the snow on the upper hilltops here. Or the slope of the mountain. And again, I took these guys out at night, making it way more fun. But there was a bit of a fail here. I thought they were going to funnel, well, where I put this bomb. But they end up funneling to my right over the little uh, ridge over here. So it's down to probably this bomb and some RPD work. Now let's wake them up, probably with an attractor. Not sure how many are there. It doesn't look like too many. Yeah, we got the napalm, but we want to use... See, I'm just testing how far I can throw it. So I don't have to go any closer. And I'd like to use the attractor first. You get more with the uh, napalm that way. Okay, let's see. I hope I have the mission selected. Here they come. No, I don't have the fucking thing selected. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, so I have to shoot first. Okay, so as you can see, half the horde is fucking kaput. Meaning, I would say, maybe 80 swarmers on this guy. Okay, you just stood there waiting for it. Where are the rest of you? They were chilling on the other side. I think I wanted to use my bomb. Yay, I got one. <laughs> Fail. Four. <laughs> I'm going to rip myself off every time that shit happens. Didn't even want to use my focus. Oh, there he is. Okay, we got some stragglers. Is he the last one? He is. Birdie Lake is done. Right, up next, the West Fur Horde. Let's see how many there are in this one. Just by visual. Okay, so it's daytime, so they're going to be within their cave. Time to wake them up. And this is the second last one in the Lost Lake region. And how far are we? We are 43 minutes in. I think it's about an hour still. But I'm fairly certain you're going to jump to the hordes that you want. Fire the uh, very descriptive description. Okay, so this is the kind of route I was going to go on. Let's have a see if this is the one where they're both sides. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's some on that side and there's going to be some on my right as well. Which is pretty cool. And I was like, hmm. It's a very small hall. And I was like, ah, right. That's you sneaky puff adders. So I'm like, nope. <laughs> I don't want to be surrounded by these fuckers. So we get a, an attractor in there. And I uh, probably should have done it more central, maybe wake them both up. Definitely wake them up. What? Wake them all up. Some guys are going to come straight to my left now, let's see. I'm over here guys, come get them. Yeah, why not? Okay, looking at the amount that's left, I would say this is about an 80 as well. Unless you guys want to slow-mo this and count them, be my guest. So now I should be sprinting. I'm probably not sprinting right towards my bike either. I don't know what I was doing there. I was not aiming at them. It's also good to shoulder swap now and again if they're getting a bit close, which I do later stage. Like there, you can see that guy coming from a mile away. Yeah, not a very big horde, but a horde nonetheless. I think I might change the sensitivity of the X and Y axis. Axis, but it uh, can get a bit uh, nasty. Jesus, that guy. Wondering where he came from. And you have the skill where you can kill him. Which was the first time I saw this, actually. So I thought, fuck it, I'll keep it in. 
Okay, let's go find the last guys. They're so good at dodging that uh, close gunfire. Okay, there's going to be another one down there. And here comes my cat. Kitty. Shame, she's upset because her mommy left for holiday today. There we go, Westfer Horde done. Next up is the Wapanita. Wapanitia, I think it is. Horde Killer Unlock is going to be the MG55, what I spoke about earlier. And a pretty cool weapon, and you'll unlock the mag for that as well on the next unlock. Come here, cat, come here. No, she's upset. Okay, this Horde, quite spread out as you can see. Took me a while to find him. All right, so this one I think I got attacked by a bear. <laughs> happens more often than you realize. Because uh, even getting to the location, they'll follow you for a long fucking time unless you go full pace. Here he is, so we're going to skip ahead to the dead bear. Here we go, cat. Okay, let's have a look at these guys. How many are going to be gone? Okay, so these guys are in the tunnel as well. Here they come. We'll throw another one for good measure. So it's not Napalm. I don't know why I didn't see that guy on my left. I clearly saw him every time I edited the video. Fuck, he nearly hit me twice. <laughs> not having it. Hmm. Not very effective with that one kill with that remote bomb. Let's get a melee hit in there. Okay, I would say maybe 180, could be 150, but I didn't use any napalm and I only used two molotovs and not very many uh, remote bomb kills. Get another flamer in there. Whoopsie, running into them now. Don't know where the fuck that guy's going. Who's running with his arms out in front of him? That was funny. Not ducking this time, sir. Anyone else? There we go. The Wapanitia horde is done. Ah, it's Wapanitia Road. Let me add that in my description. Okay, we are going on to Crater Lake. Only three guys, uh, three hordes here. Guys, we have the Rimview Ranch horde. And uh, from this point onwards, after this horde, I start counting them. So I can tell you exactly how many are on each one. But this is the horde that was not filmed. But you're going to find it right there as I showed on the map. So the second one, the McLeod horde. Now I think this was pretty damn big. There was 152... Well, it probably just means there's 150 and there were two stragglers or something that I picked up. But as you can see, it is uh, dawn and these guys are just getting into their cave. And you're going to see them all come around that corner in a second. And I like to do this sometimes. You wait for them. You know, like you set the ambush and don't just go to where they are. You make them come to where you want them to go. And again, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a lot of what the hard mode is going to be about. But it wasn't happening quick enough, so let's get some attractor in there and probably some Molotov and we'll see how much of the horde is depleted after this. Give us an idea of what 150 swarmers look like after a napalm. <laughs> fucking love a napalm. Oh, no, I don't have the fucking thing selected. Again, my bad guys. But uh, you can see there's a fair amount there. I think the previous one must have only been 80. They're kind of just wandering around. Well, that guy got very close. Kudos to you, sir. Or sirette, whatever the hell you are. And probably the jig is up now. Yes, it is. Here they come. Again, not very efficient with the remote bomb. Three in total with two remote bombs. <laughs> Shit. But it's alright. I prefer using the weapon anyway. 
Lucky to get away with that one. Whoop, not that one. But if you just roll, like I was saying before, you can stagger them. And uh, they will not hit. Okay, let's see how many we got here. Not many left. <laughs> I love that how he times it perfectly. Sit. Come on, guys. I'm murdering your famille here. Come get some. No, nope, there's a couple more on the way. They sneak up so quickly. Lucky to miss that, or to be missed by that. So 150 swarmers is what this looks like. They're so skillful, these guys. Somehow dodging the fully automatic RPG. But uh, some are bound to slip through the cracks. Like that dude. Come on, bring him on. Careful of not destroying my bike in the background. This has got to be the last of them. Oh, it looks like there's some more monsters coming over the hill. Sneaky puff that is. Is that the done? Nope, there's more on the way. A lot more on the way. What's happening here? Seems like a lot more than 150. Any more? Couple. And even more. Where is the last one? There he is. There we go, McLeod Ridge Horde completed. Horde killer, 70%. Right, guys. Oh, wait, yeah, before we do that, this is how you can see how many swarmers there are. 152. Like I was saying before, just a couple extras probably on the way there. Next up, guys, this is the Mount Bailey Horde. Now, there's 400 of these fuckers, and this is quite a vicious battle. I decided to do it at night to make it more entertaining, and they are busy watering themselves so we're gonna go burn them now i think i used two napalms at the start of this and it barely scratches the surface of the amount of these guys so setting up my remotes along the road pretty much so i know where they are although they haven't been very effective but uh who knows with this one i think the best thing to do is to move back and then throw in a tractor at each remote bomb it's probably a good idea easier said than done though when you're running for your life Okay, let's do the attractor first. The brush will not hide you with these fuckers. Okay, then we're going to use the napalm when they're all running towards me. Okay, this time I activated the top. Now you can see what's the bar at the top, how much gets taken away. Almost nothing. So now you know. Fuck, okay. 400 swarmers it is. And this is a prime location at night, especially to be attacked by bears and actually other raiders or rippers. And as you can see there, my first remote bomb was efficient. The second one didn't kill anything. So I definitely don't have all their attention just yet. I just have this feeling I'm going to try the hard mode and they're just going to absolutely fucking annihilate me. And then I want to shut up by saying, I wish it was harder. But uh, I can't wait to get into that, like I've said multiple times already. So as you can see, barely scratching the surface of this horde. Awesome, Mount Bailey Horde. This has a name that sounds big as well. So there it is, the tractor was still going strong. Use some focus here. So there I got a, a bit of a fright, there was gunfire coming from my right, so it is obviously just rippers or those hunters you get sometimes. But no need to watch that. Trust me, they both died very quickly. But we're going to get back to the horde right here.
You'll probably get a, an attractor in here. Or oh, they seem to be attacking something already. There it is. Here they come. Nice and scattered. Although I do prefer them bunched up. Whoopsie. Stupid place to park the bike anyway. Won't make that mistake ever again. Okay, just over half of the horde left. I think I shoot my bike several times in this. As you can see, I was trying to be as careful as possible. No way to move it now. Actually, later on in the game, I did exactly the same fail where I was running away from them. And I tried to reload, and my bike was too close. So he got onto the bike, and they just they destroyed me. So yeah, get the bike far away from anything you're going to be doing is a good choice. Napalm again on that attractor. Let's have a look at this. Oh, plumb in the middle. Look how many there are still. Watch the bar at the top. Just goes down a fraction. So I'm like, oh shit. Not even the RPD can handle this, so we're going to have to do something else. Molotovs pretty much to slow them down, rather than actually doing it to kill them. As you can see, it creates like a gap. Way breather, if you will. Yeah, I think I'd turn around and go back the way I came at some point. I don't want to run into a screamer. It'll all be for nothing. Okay, so I use the attractor, so I'm not wussing out yet by using the attractor bomb. I thought I'd take these guys out and then uh, see if anyone's by the attractor. It does last quite a long time, actually. And that's then done. Nope, someone's still alive. Don't know what happened there. Second time lucky. Horde is almost done. Let's skip ahead to where they are. Here they come. Let's get an attractor going again. And see how many we can take out. Do I use napalm? Yes, I do. Oh, that might have been a waste. I was rushed. Well, let's see if they run into it. I think he ran around with the sneaky fucker. Yeah, they do seem to run into it. The wall of fire. Interesting tactic as well. Sprint, dude. Oh, no. Missile's like, no! For some reason, if you use your melee hit... Um, they won't hit you. If you do it again, then they'll all hit you. So you have like one one chance to do a, a physical hit before they start attacking you again. Yeah, so at this point I was running too far away to cast my secondary weapon. Toodles. Okay, skipping ahead again. This is the last of them. I think I ran out of ammo. Didn't have time to go to my saddlebags and refill. Yeah, you're trying to do cocky things there. There we go, Mount Bailey Horde. 400 swarmers. Done. Okay, guys, we are going to Highway 97. Now, this is the one again in the region that I didn't film. Um, I remember doing it perfectly, but for some reason I just didn't record it. And I think it is quite a large one. You'll find them dead center of the football field at the community college right here. Right in the middle of this area is where you're going to find them. But we're going to go on to the next one, which is the Lobert Draw Ridge Horde. Quite a mouthful. And this one is one of my favorites, except for the insane drop-in that happens. Cat just knocked over my drink. Nice one. Yeah, there's a massive drop-in because I couldn't find the rest of the horde. And I went into the tunnel down here, as you'll see in a second. And there was nothing. I turned around and came out. And then they all spawned in right behind me. I got such a fucking fright. I jumped. Because wearing the headphones, there were just, you know, there was no nothing there. And then suddenly there were so many. And it scared the crap out of me. But this battle is going to go all the way along the bridge where we came from. So if you're planning this for the first time, I would probably put another one in between these two. Because they come thick and fast up that ridge. And that little bottleneck. This one, yeah, I probably would have done it a little bit closer. But um, they're not exactly efficient unless you get lucky. So thinking about it now, I would probably throw an attractor at all the locations as I was going up. Otherwise, I mean, you've seen I've only done... Well, a couple of them have worked, but majority of them, you just get two or three. So uh, on this horde, which is monstrous, 
400 swarmers and this guy. Everybody is going to help. Thought I'd do the proximity bomb, which I haven't used before. So this is where this weapon is so awesome. Because uh, I don't want to wake the horde up just yet, but I can take him out silently. With the rock chuck. Awesome weapon. Okay, we are going to get into this now. I think we wake them up with an attractor. Attractor bomb. Yeah, I think I knew this was a biggie. 400 swarmers on this. So just seeing how far I can throw my napalm, which is about there. And then completely ignored myself and threw it further anyway, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I just needed to throw it less than that to get this plum in the front. Okay, watching the, the, the bar at the top, guys. Look how many are on fire. And you'll see how little the bar goes down. Look at that. That's the first indication of trouble. 20, 20, 20 guys here. Yeah. As you can see, the proximity bomb only took out one guy. That one took out a lot, and I'll probably do it again now. They come right up here, and I wanted to funnel them down this bridge. And if you come up to this bridge quicker, they'll jump over that little railing on my left, and they'll bunch up very, very nicely there. No idea how many that took out. And this uh, fuel can is non-existent because all I wanted to do is blow it up, as you can see. And uh, even after the horde was gone, I couldn't shoot it for some reason. It, you know, it was there, but it wasn't. So now, reloading and running. I don't know why I didn't roll there, but I didn't want to use my focus. As you can see there, try to fire, nothing happened. Guess I used my focus in the end. Didn't want to go too far away. And like I was saying before, don't want to run into a screamer, because then you're dead. So they bunched up nicely down there. Again, I thought I'd throw the attractor, and then probably get a napalm on top of them, just after the explosion as well. So I think it'll only take out a certain amount. Boom, and then boom. Plenty of guys on fire there. We'll see the bar drop significantly. Oh, guess not. Come on, John. Better than that. Okay, now I think this is when they start coming over the railing, which makes it very easy. It takes a long time to get over that, and they do kind of bird's eye view towards you. They won't run around. Now that's good. Do that. Little molly tov in there. Stow them down a bit. Just over half done. We don't need to use the focus there. See that thing was dead as you can see. So this is a good funnel point down the left of this truck. As we would call a bucky maybe. Oh no, here's a bigger one. Four door. Okay, so the Molotov lasts quite a long time there. I think there's also a skill to increase that and increase its damage. No, I think that was on the World War Z game. <laughs> Easy to mix those two up. Typically the same thing. Hordes. Swarms, if you will. Okay, coming down to it now. You will see what happens in a second. I'll skip forward, because uh, I searched everywhere for the second horde after being in that tunnel once. It was actually the second time I came back to it, and you'll see it now. I felt compelled to blow that up. This little straggler here. Right. Now, this is when I get back in there. I run down, and this is after looking at the other areas as well. And uh, coming in here, and I think there was one guy in here. No, there's a couple in there. I'm getting it mixed up now. Yeah, I think after I take these guys out, there's one at the back, and then bang, they all drop in right behind me. Caught me completely off guard. And looking at how many there are there, I think uh, Napalm would have been a waste, and I think I do decide that, yeah. So looking at that, being 400 being the full amount, you'd say there's at least 80 swarmers left, maybe 50. 
maybe a bit less. As you can see there, I ran in, and as I ran out, this was behind me. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, napalm, napalm, napalm. Now I waited a bit longer because they were coming from both angles there. I wanted to make sure I got them in the crossroad. And at this point, I don't think I had any ammo left. My uh, saddlebags, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I couldn't refill my ammo, even though the ammo was full on there. I haven't used it once, but I couldn't use the RPD. It wouldn't let me refill my ammo. Fail. Had to use the rock chuck. And probably some fire. Which uh, probably missed everyone. So let's get the focus going in there. These, uh, this weapon will require a few more shots than the RPD. Uh, let's get some physicals down there. I'm going to have to do some more searching. So we're going to jump ahead to when I found them. All just going back to sleep. Use the SMP. And this looks like there's going to be more after this. Yeah, they're kind of struggling around there. I think I used a... No, I didn't use an attractor again. I don't like it when they're all spaced out. I think we just went old school here. And then I looked down and went, oh shit, there's still quite a few more there. Maybe get an attractor going in here. Attractor bomb. Because it was taking too long. Let's see how it works. Yeah, that was worth it. Almost done with this horde. Again, some stragglers. This is going to be the last of them. Also, a very, very cool sounding weapon. Fucking gazelle jumping around there. I really think the loud gunfire would draw them. Okay, we still can't reload our other weapon. I think I was getting... Saying to myself, enough is enough. Let's get the attractor in there and take them out. Absolutely monstrous horde. Tons of fun. Can't wait to do it again. And I think I really wanted to get the last hit in. With the axe. There it is. Lowboat Draw Ridge Horde. Guys, 400 fucking swarmers. As you will see in a second. 73% horde killer done. Deacon, how there are we you? go. Just over 400. Hey, awesome. Next up, guys, the Beaver Marsh Rest Stop Horde. That's a mouthful as well. This is going to be up in the northeast of... Oh, I was going to say Highway 97. It is Highway 97. And I enjoyed this one as well. A lot of stuff to use. Now, I did plan or plant bombs along there, but as you will see, I'll pick it up in a second. They didn't ever follow me down to the right-hand side, and I wanted to get them in the water. And the first time I did this, I threw my napalm and it hit the tarpaulin up there and didn't kill a single fucking one. But this time, let us see how much goes away. It's a fair amount. How many on this? This is 140 swarmers. Now, I wanted them to follow me down here, to funnel through here, but uh, they never did. Or at least a couple of guys did, I think. Let's have a look. Now, I think I do pick up the bomb and then run in circles around this cabin. And there's some cool napalm tanks and stuff to use. Now, I don't know why they didn't all follow me through here, but it's probably for the best, because I would have been in the water as well, or a little bit on the water. But, uh... They were doing something around this corner here. Yay, I got one with my remote bomb. See, I wanted to use this water. But uh, it might have been a bad idea. But uh, maybe we'll try it on the hard mode. Sit. Yeah, at this point, I'm like, nah, fuck it. Pick it up, let's go run circles around these bitches. 
Fever Marsh rest stop horde. He's a biggie. Well, not too big, 140 swarmers on this one. Kind of just standing around. And here we go. Half done. This is when I effectively use the shoulder swap and you can get the guys that you think are sneaking up on you. I wonder if I could have shot that uh, kerosene tin. Who knows. You can slow them down quite a lot by going around these sandbags and uh, barricades and stuff. <laughs> Probably through the tent as well. And then I spotted the propane tank. Yes, please. And I thought, well, let's get an attractor in there. Is that an attractor bomb? I didn't mean it to be. Boom. Haha, <laughs> a survival tip there. It says something about the noise. I want the noise, sir. I want them to attack me. He got me. This looks like their feeding ground. She fucking dodged it. Sneaky bitch. Aha, no, I was the sneaky one. Now there's a couple more. One over here and there's two or three behind the cabin. Let's see where they are. Right there. Minding their own business. Something is keeping them behind this little ridge over here. I don't know what the hell it is. Missed me. Missed me. Toodles. Here we go. Beaver Marsh rest stop horde done. Next up, the Juniper Ridge Horde. Juniper, Juniper, I don't know. But before that, we got the unlock, which is the mag for the weapon we unlocked previously. And let's have a look at the bounties. It's going to be 140-ish. What's up, Joe? What's up, Joe? Have some ears. Lend me your ears. Okay. The Juniper Ridge Horde. That uh, cougar right there gave me one of the biggest frights in my entire life. They are silent until they are on top of you. Scared the shit out of me. So you can see the three stops, watering, feeding, and sleeping. And uh, being during the day, they are going to be within their cave. Now, how many guys? 125-ish swarmers in this horde. Not too big. But uh, did I think it merited a napalm? Probably not. That was plumb in the middle. Let's see how it goes down. I think that was an attractor. I'm not quite sure what I was doing there. Come on. There they are. See, that's a uh, too wide a berth, these guys. They're too spread out. They're not a good tactic, although I was probably being cocky thinking it was only 120 freakers. Swarmers. And that was a very good throw, or lucky throw, if you will. Deacon with his permanent skull. He's the male version of Mallory Archer. If you don't watch Archer, you should. Check this out, that just shows in slow motion. That guy just came out of fucking nowhere. Literally out of nowhere. Very weird. Okay, just over half done. <laughs> so close. And there is me shooting my bike again. I think I would have learned by now. But no siree. And they're still trickling out of there. Don't even think an attractor would help. He got me good. Fuck, they both did. <laughs> roll away, sir. Roll away. There he is again. Super Dodger. 
the artful dodger. Okay, let's see where these guys are. Some more there. Maybe a single molly would work. No, or oh, a focus shooting, yeah. Setting myself up for it. My oh, bike's over there, you can hear me hit it every now and again. Dodgy, dodgy. <laughs> every now and again you can hear a thong thonk of me hitting my bike. Okay, the rest of them are going to be scattered. Let's go and have a look. Put someone over there. Not very good accuracy at range with this weapon. Not that it's meant to be. See, it wouldn't fire. And then suddenly it would fire. We can only assume the devs are working tirelessly day and night to fix these minor bugs for us. Okay, we got some sleepers in there. Crazy sound effects, especially on headphones. Incredibly creepy. I don't know why it just occurred to me, because there's a, another a horde that you get in a storyline in the caves. And uh, I don't show that one, but it is automatic, so no location required. Okay, looks like we've got a couple more. I think this is the guy I run inside and do the final hit here. Yeah. Wandering aimlessly. There it is. Another one done. Diamond Lake's going to be full. Right, 5 of 13. The next one is going to be the Ramai Gulch. How's it going, Rumi? See you, Rumi. <laughs> See you later. Okay, the Ramai Gulch. This is going to be 150 swarmers. A fair amount. Nothing like the big ones, though. But uh, still a challenge. Now, what time of day is it there? It is night. Ah, this is the one where I set the traps. So you kind of get here at 4 or 5 in the evening. Because at uh, 6, I think it's 7 o'clock on the dot, they will start their migration, if you will. Their minor migration to their various watering and feeding grounds. This time, I'm setting the traps. Although I do every time. I mean, setting traps, <laughs> I have to kick it over because it's you just have to. Okay, so this is me waiting, and here they come. What's that coming over the hill? A fucking lot of freakers. Tons and tons and tons. 150 guys. No particular reason why I was marking them, just uh, I felt like it, I guess. And you got the alpha male out there in front. Guess he's gonna die first. So to my left there was a couple of unhoarded freakers I had to take out using the silenced weapon. Because I wanted these guys to settle in for a nice evening feed. I definitely should have waited longer. Because they kind of all crowd into that little area, whereas as you can see with the handy markers that uh, there were still quite a few off the feeding ground. But uh, impatience is a virtue. Let's go. Got their attention. Definitely got their attention. Let's do an attractor and then probably some napalm. Not even an attractor bomb. Getting cocky here. This looks like a plum shot. Yeah. Come on, shoot someone so the thing comes up. Nope, I haven't got it selected. Fuck, I suck. But as you can see, they come thick and fast. <laughs> Too spread out for my liking. Gotta funnel them. Looks pretty cool though. This probably would have been my thumbnail if it was during the day. What was that? An attractor? An attractor bomb. Who knows? See, they kind of surround you. And I thought this was it, but I managed to roll the fuck away and get out of there, quick stickles. So I didn't want to wussy out again and use the attractor bomb, so I just used the attractors just to stop that initial onslaught, so I could recuperate. There we go, running in the same direction like I normally do. We don't want to attract any breakers, ragers, or screamers, or reachers. Those guys are brutal. Oh shit. 
That was a napalm. I wonder if that was intentional. That guy was running with a, with a fucking goal in mind. Okay, so we got some stragglers. Do some mountain climbing. It's definitely time for a Molotov or something in there, John. Hello. Oh uh, yeah, we're going to use the stamina. Not very often I do this. I'm pretty sure on hard mode I won't go anywhere without it. I guess your skill selection on the hard mode is going to be very different. The first ones you get are the double ups on collections and stuff like that. Scrap and uh, brush or bushes and flowers. The herbology. Getting too close, but uh, we've almost got them in the bag. Almost had me in the bag there. Okay, I got my focus to work. I knew he was there, the sneaky puff at it. This is going to be not the last of them. I think I'd go up the road again. I couldn't find them. He got me as well. And again, terrible, just terrible. There it is. We had some randoms in there. Ramai Gulch Horde. Alright, the bounties on this one is going to be 150-ish. Anything more is just the extras I picked up. Okay, next one is the Friendship Ridge Horde. This is going to be 130 swarmers and located right down here in the south of Highway 97. And they're going to be so many swarms so close together here. You've got to be careful not to run into them. Which is another reason why I actually run a back on the ones that you've taken out already. I'm going to skip ahead to where they are watering themselves down here. There they are. Screamer, not good. She has to go. Let's see if I use... A tractor bomb or an attractor. <clears throat> See how confident I'm feeling. I'm not a fan of attacking them or being attacked by them in this uh, in the brush. Because when they duck down, you can't see them. Looks like I'm using an attractor bomb. And let us have a look if we use napalm directly after. Yes, we do. <laughs> Here we go. Now, use it. Yeah, that napalm is awesome, because the splash damage is fantastic. As you can see, a fat chunk of them gone. And that second Molotov as well was well placed. They're still dying from it. Hello. Not sure where he came from. It was probably a random... Okay, maybe some focus shooting. As you can see, I pushed focus, but uh, I wasn't aiming or something like that. No focus left. Gotta be careful on this highway. Who just love this highway? Although I guess a screamer would be the worst thing to run into. Because, uh, you're, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead if you run into a screamer. She will incapacitate you, unable to move, and then you are dead. At this point I was kind of, yeah, I'm running too far in one direction. I'm going to run into another horde very soon. Time to go back. Recoup. There it is, the rest are randoms. Friendship Bridge Horde, done. This is for Diamond Lake. Ah, Diamond Lake. Oh, of course, yeah, that's the... Area. Vegan. Highway 97 and you? Diamond Lake is the How's it going, Ruby? trust earned. Here we go, 150, 149 good. swarmers right there. And the rest are going to be extras. Right, Solomon Hill Horde. This is 125 swarmers and located in the north. I kind of mixed this up a bit. I did some in the north, some in the south, hoping that there would be bigger ones at some area. But the next big one that comes up is the Cascade Lakes Rail Line. That's 160. Otherwise, we've done all of the biggest ones. And there we go. 
Let's heat things up a bit. There we go. It covers the entire entrance to this. So a good position for the napalm. Napalm is always a good position. Although, can miss throw it. Set yourself on fire like I've done a couple of times. Okay, so pretty much half done on this one. Still, I like the the sunlight streaming in on this particular on this particular footage. Yeah, John, you didn't need to use your focus there. They were all lined up perfectly. Although, can take out a lot more. Get very sneaky close up. I had someone a random attacking me on my left. And watching my map, I was surrounded and then roll away, probably. Nope, I had it under control. Or did I? Yeah, I much prefer the shoulder swap to be the R3 joystick in. Pushing X. Yeah, it's just terrible. Relentless, these guys. When I'm bush bashing a bit. Here come the rest of them. Okay, a couple more to do here. Terrible shooting there. Someone's alive. Well, reanimated. Breathing. No? Breathing? I don't know. Can zombies survive underwater? Probably. Well, they did in The Walking Dead, didn't they? Okay, looks like we got some stragglers in the cave. Let us go and sort them out. Quite a few stragglers. Just around the corner here. It looks like a Molotov to me. There she is. Awesome lighting in the cave. I love it. Sure, you got me. Sneaky puff at it. And there it is. All done. Quick visit to the bounty. And we're on 88% on that now. Hey, Rumi. Nice Only six more hordes to go. That's all I got for now. Right, Mount Scott Ski Resort, 130 swimmers. And uh, as I approached them up in the north there, they were all bunched around. I can only assume they were attacking an animal, and it was a bear. And I thought, well, fuck it, let's utilize this and uh, get some napalm out there. But they saw me, so the napalm kind of landed in the middle. We're going to see now how many have killed. Yeah, fair amount. It's still taking some out. Not sure if that was a tractor bomb or a tractor. Let's slow their roll a bit. Okay, almost half done. Pretty much half. Sneaky, sneaky. Probably time to go the other direction because I'm heading towards a dead end. Ooh, is that an airbag? Always grab those airbags. The biker. Now there's going to be a link in the description, like I mentioned before, with a collections guide. You can collect. I think I got 11 kerosenes on one run of these three locations, or the one location, the sawmill. I got 11, but they are random. But uh, if you're lacking on the materials to make napalm or to make your molotovs or even your remote bombs and stuff like that even attractors uh, have a look at that i'll put that at the top in the description and uh i just do that do those runs once and you're, you're completely maxed out there's no more you can hold after doing those runs very very useful i feel okay a couple more left in this one although it's more than a couple those guys do not seem to bother or be bothered by me. Time to whip out the smallie. Now these are probably randoms, although they could be part of the horde. See there, wouldn't fire for me. <laughs> he was kind of falling 
before I connected. Okay, they're going to be very close. She came rushing out of that bush. Where are the rest? They're still behind me. I wonder if they moved down the, the right hand side of this road. It makes sense. Because you don't see so many come running out of nowhere, the random ones. There's only normally stragglers, two or three. They're coming from the bottom of the bridge. Maybe the rest were down there. Who knows? Only a couple got to feast on the bear. I <laughs> shot that previous guy in the foot. That was cool. Awesome reactions to the bullet locations. Or the bullet hit locations. It's got to be it. Whoopsie. Lucky to get away with that. There it is, Mount Scott Ski Resort Horde in the bag. 90% done on the bounties. We're looking at about 130. As you can see right there. That's it. That's it, Rumi. Alright, next up, the Sagebrush Point Horde. Here we're going to have 130 swarmers. And we're going to kill them all. We'll re-kill them. As you can see... Their horde, the, the hordes are pretty close together as well, so you've got to be very careful you don't run into another one. Now I've got these guys on their way back from their feeding or watering ground. And their cave is just to my left. So let's use the attractor and some napalm because I'm going to use the, the slope difference. And you can throw the napalm. Oh, that was a terrible throw, that was. Yeah, a couple of bad throws there I feel. Something funny happens now with a wolf. Check this out. So there's a wolf that comes running up here to attack me. And he's like, uh-uh, fuck that. <laughs> he's bolting as well. He's not having it. So we're going to go through this little passageway here. And I was meaning to throw a I do throw a Molotov. I planned to do that from the beginning, I think. As you can see, bunched up with the napalm. Unfortunately, I don't have the fucking mission selected. But we know there's 130 swarmers in this group. This horde. Getting too close, John. Running back up to where they were coming from, just so we don't run into another horde. And I keep saying it because I don't know, people might skip to this particular horde, so I do repeat information. Sure, lucky there. So lucky. Alright, Sagebrush Point Horde is done. 130 years we have. Or will be give or take. 130. 132. Nice job. That's it for now. Alright, this is the what is this? This is the uh the Beasley Lake horde. Now there's only 60 swarmers in here. So a very small one. Now I'd planned a whole bomb route. Uh, thinking they would come down to the water here first. But they are different and they went down to the feeding ground. So I skipped ahead a bit because I was only shooting stragglers. And they all went in that direction. But now I know. I was wondering if uh, the saddlebags weren't working. Again, I didn't have ammo for the RPD. I'm just switching it up a bit. So not a very large horde. But uh, just as deadly if we fuck shit up. <laughs> They're so sneaky, close up. Okay, quarter gone, give or take. Now we're going to take these two guys out, and then we're going to go find a bunch of them. So you're going to be in that road direction. Let's get them grouped up a bit. I think this was a good napalm throw. Let's have a look. <laughs> that was a fail. Yep, yeah, let's get the napalm ready, or Molotov, Molotov. 
You can throw the Molotovs a lot further. Because obviously you're not throwing a Growler. It's a big bottle. Now the fat chunk is going to be taking off that forge status up top there. There it is. And they got me. No more focus left. No more ammo left. Not many swarmers though either. Sure. See like there, perfect example of not firing. Definitely holding the fire button like I've done every other time, but sometimes it just doesn't fire. And that time it looked like I, I had aimed at the right time. Weird. And just so you know, rolling uses up almost double the amount of uh, stamina. At this stage of the game, there is so much. Where the fuck is that guy going? <laughs> okay, we're going to skip ahead to their feeding ground where a couple of the stragglers were. And this is going to be the last of them. I thought he was, but uh, then I saw this guy. Here he is. Beasley Lake Horde done. Not many more to go. Three more hordes to go, guys. Next up. Well, we're going to have a look at the bounties first. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And that was about 60. Okay, this one is going to be the Cascade Lakes Rail Line Horde. This is also going to be part of the storyline. You will come down here to test your napalm. But uh, strangely enough... Oh, no, wait, sorry, this isn't the one I was thinking about. This is the Cascade Lakes Rail Line. Yeah, so it wasn't this one. It was a different one. But uh, I used, again, the gradient in this. And there's 160 swarmers in this one. And the napalm plum on their heads. Lovely splash damage. Always looks better at night, obviously. And watching the horde counter up top. A fat chunk is gone. I'm not sure one of these I get attacked by a bear. For some reason I thought it a good idea to take the airbag. Hope you got airbag. And I got smacked for my troubles. You need the airbag, I think, for one of the bombs. Oh, you definitely need it for one of the bombs. But uh, I didn't use the proximity one a lot. But they weren't punching up enough for me there. I deemed a Molotov sufficient, but it'll only kill a certain amount. Yeah, I'm getting very amped to play continue playing on hard mode I've just started now but I will put up some more guides on uh, various other aspects like the cairn locations and uh, all the marauder camps and ambush camps which is the marauder camp uh, show all the locations of the bunkers because they can be quite difficult to find but I really wanted to get this one up as soon as humanly possible I really hope it does well put a lot of, lot of time and effort into it and uh, there is a guide up already for, it says all the hordes, but it's only got the ones in Highway 97. So uh, this is almost a two hour guide. And uh, it's got every single horde location, even if it isn't every battle. It is the majority of them, definitely. Okay, we've got some stragglers left, just less than half. And they come running out of the bushes. Sneaky fuckers. See there, it looks like to me I was going for headshots, head height. And I uh, can't see my health going up. Well, maybe I am still confused about that. And that was the World War Z game. Yeah, it could be. Who fucking knows? It's all Molotovs and uh, health bars. Gotta reload. I check this when this happens. I try to reload and it jumps on my bike. <laughs> like, shit. Get away from the bike, you moped. Which is funny because a moped is a small bike. But this might be the last of them. And I do get smacked for my troubles. Oh, he's coming out of left field. One more. Nope, there is more. We're going to skip ahead. They're going to be down by the watering hole here. Or oh, this is the feeding ground. One over there and one over there. <laughs> there we go. Cascade Lakes Rail Line Horde done. Alright, we have two more hordes here. 
Now, the first one I don't show because it is the Groose Gardens. What's up, Ruby? Let's have a look at the bounty quickly. 160-ish. Yes, nice. Now, this was the most disappointing horde. I don't exactly know why, but uh, you can find it right in this location here, just southeast of the Kimalt College, right on this bridge. And this is separate footage, but uh, they're going to be up and down this road. And uh, it was very spaced out. I couldn't get them to bunch up. Only a couple of times I got them to bunch up. So I don't show the whole thing because it's just me running around looking for these fuckers. And on my left hand side now, if I cross that little island there, the whole game turned to Doom. The, t uh, the TVs, the trees went to 2D, like the old Doom game when you, they kind of always face you when you move left and right. Uh, I'm not sure if you get to see it. Actually you do. The last guy I hit, you will see the trees are all fucked. It's so weird, it's like a line in the, in the ground where it goes from stuff that's got its texture and the ground that doesn't. This was weird. As I came back, that guy, um, even after I killed him, he kind of popped up in the air. It was very, very strange. But again, we're going to use the attractor. I just wanted this to end because it wasn't very entertaining. But we managed to get... Some of them bunched up, and we go with a grenade this time. And grenades and pipe bombs, you can buy. I think you can buy the pipe bombs. You can definitely buy grenades. So that's a good thing to use, actually, uh, if you're not short of money. As you can see, look at those trees. Crazy, crazy Doom-style trees. All right, Groose Gardens Horde is done. Next up, we have the final one, guys. Uh, ignore that percentage. It's very, very wrong. So this one is the Kemalt Station Horde. This is 120 swarmers. And it's also a very, very cool one. Lots of stuff you can use, like you'll see right here. Lots of explosives. And throw it on the other side of the barrel, so I'm still able to see the barrel. For whence do we explode? There we go. Fat chunk done. Now, it wasn't a very good um, strategy standing here. I should have standing more on the right-hand side. But what I think I do actually move to the right because there's a lovely gap in the fence. Over there. And it's a good spot because there is a barrel just outside. So my whole plan was to run through and then throw an explosive through there. Pipe bomb in this case. Going to take out two explosions. Well, create two explosions. And fire. <laughs> Laughter of the fence falling off. This was a strange location because to my right, there was like four screamers that dropped right next to that fuss. And if they had started screaming, it would have been fucking game over. Because there's no way you would have gotten away from that. I'm not sure if I skipped the footage because they weren't part of the horde. But let's have a look. So it looks like I've only got the stragglers. Still more than half of the horde. Perfect little bottleneck through here. Now I'm kind of surrounded. I think I get uh, some rippers as well. Or anarchists at least. Rippers are the topless dudes and girls. Oh, ragged. They look like fucking swarmers. So these guys popped in here. So, uh... Not even sure if there were enemies here then. I don't know. I remember going through the swamp on the east side of Highway 97. And I got such a fright that these two guys were there. I killed them both and then realized they're just random hunters you get floating around. Every now and again. But it was too late. Okay, let's go find the rest of this horde. Hello. Slowly moving on down to their watering hole or river. There they are. That's where it's like trying to throw with my left hand when I swap shoulders like that. Very awkward. But uh, instead of moving the aim left and right, you just strafe left and right. So this is when, as you can see, my map. I've got some guys on my right hand side now. Wasn't quite sure what was going on there. Look at him. Artful dodger. Someone was on me. I think it was him. There's still someone behind me. 
Yep, and then I went down to the watering hole, and this is where the rest were. Thought we'd get an attractor in there. Pipe bomb, Molotov, Molotov in the end. Ah, oh, there's someone to my left as well now. Easier to look at the map when you don't have to watch the horde. Gonna get hit. There it is, Kimmel Station Horde done. And then this is going to unlock the the item for your bike. Horde killer, 100% done. Very excited to try it on hard mode now. And we head to the obvious bounty. Call and we will see it's about 120 down. swarmers. Hey, Rumi. All right, guys. That is going to bring us to the end of this mammoth guide. Please, pretty please show us some love. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. There's going to be... Plenty more stuff on the way, especially with the hard mode. I'm going to do everything on hard mode from now onwards, as well as some other guides I had recorded a couple of days back, which I'm going to throw up in the next couple of days. As per usual, if you have any questions at all, give us a shout. I'm always going to answer. So I want to say thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.